Good evening, and welcome to Living Gluten-Free with Wegmans. I'm Trish Kazakis, Corporate Nutrition Manager. I'm here today with my colleagues, Patty Fowler and Ann Johnston. We're so excited to have you with us this evening for Wegmans' very first live virtual event. A few housekeeping details. We have 500 registered attendees, so we're so excited that you all are very interested in spending the next hour learning a little bit about our history and helping people to live gluten-free. As a reminder, the event will be recorded. We have your cameras turned off and your microphones are muted, but the chat box is open, so feel free to say hi and let us know what store you normally shop at. A few days after the event, you will be sent a link to the recording so that you can refer back to it for future reference and we'll be posting it on Wegmans.com so we can share it with all of our customers. Now for tonight's agenda, Patty, Ann and I will be sharing a little bit about the evolution about Wegmans service and helping people to live gluten free. We'll also be answering some of the questions that were submitted during the registration process. Our colleague Wendy will be monitoring the chat box, so if additional questions come up, feel free to enter them there and we'll try to answer as many questions as we can this evening. At Wegmans, we have a mission to help people live healthier, better lives through food. As a registered dietitian, I understand how critical it is for people to find safe, gluten-free foods. As someone who has non-celiac sensitivity myself, I also understand firsthand the challenges of finding foods that taste great, that don't have too dry or dense or crumbly texture, and quite frankly, are items that my whole family will eat. Many of you may know that in 2014, that is when the FDA defined what the criteria is for making a gluten-free claim. However, Wegmans has been partnering with suppliers since the early 1990s. We did this in response to calls and questions from customers like you who were asking for help. Now, in those early days, we started by creating a brochure where we listed the items that we carried in our stores that we were able to verify were gluten-free. Then, in 2001, we launched Wegmans Wellness Keys these are icons that we put on Wegmans brand products to identify if they met specific nutrient or special diet criteria. It was at that time that we introduced our first gluten-free wellness key. It's an orange circle with a G in the center and the words gluten-free clearly listed below it. Now before we assign this key, we verify that the product's ingredients are not derived from, from wheat, rye, barley, or oats. We also evaluate the manufacturing environment and procedures to evaluate if there's a risk of cross-contact with gluten. Finally, we work with our suppliers to verify that the final product would have less than 20 parts per million of gluten from inadvertent cross-contact. Now, if there's any doubt or a supplier um, isn't comfortable standing behind that gluten-free claim, we won't label the product with this key. As of this recording, we have over 2,000 Wegmans brand products that have been assigned with this key. Now I mentioned that we prohibit oats, and if you're familiar with the FDA criteria, oats are allowed in items that are certified to be gluten-free, but we prohibited oats because we understand that when individuals are first diagnosed with celiac disease, they're often advised to avoid oats for the first six months to a year. We also know that some individuals find that even after that period that they can't tolerate any oats, including certified gluten-free oats. So we've kept that as part of our criteria. But over time, we're hearing from more and more customers who are living gluten-free, who are able to tolerate oats and wanted to have more options. So we recently launched our second gluten-free wellness key, as you can see on the slide here. It again has that orange G circle, but it clearly says gluten-free with oats underneath. 
Now the item that we have here on the screen, our Wegmans brand oat milk, is currently the only product that has this new wellness key. But our product developers are actively working on introducing some new products in the near future that will be assigned this key. Now you can learn about both keys by going to Wegmans.com slash gluten free. And speaking about new products and product development, I wanted to turn it over to Patty, who could share a little bit about what is involved when we're creating new products, using the example of some new baking mixes that we just recently launched. Patty? Thank you, Trish. My name is Patty Fowler. I'm a bakery artisan and a certified executive pastry chef. I've been with Wegmans for 36 years. In 2012, we started our bakery journey with a small gluten-free bakery that we built. And we tested two local Rochester stores with some seven different gluten-free products. At the same time, we did a parallel project with grocery where we had the same mixes in grocery that were what the items we were selling in bakery. Soon after that, we, found, we were finding that some of the items that we carried in our store had no gluten containing ingredients. And we developed the made with no gluten containing ingredient purple dot. This means that the products have no wheat, rye, or barley, but they're made in an environment that there could be cross contamination. So we wouldn't gu guarantee that they don't have gluten in them. These are good for people who have, are less sensitive or maybe just leading a gluten-free lifestyle. Um, some, some things that we have that might, um, you might know about are the chocolate dome in bakery, the French macaron, the chocolate indulgence cookies. So those are just some examples of some of the things that we carry that are made with no gluten containing ingredients. We do have a gluten free pie that we get in as a gluten free item and I'd like to talk about at store level, we, we take that pie and we cut it into slices and we sell it as a pie slice. Once we open up that package, we relabel that item as a made with no gluten containing ingredient item, not as a gluten free item. Just so you have an example of that. So in 2020, we decided that it was time to upgrade our, mix, our mixes and there were new market innovations. And so we spent about a year to a year and a half of testing and trying. And again, we had a parallel project for doing mixes in grocery. For instance, the, the cake, the gold cake mix is the same as the gold cake and the cupcakes that you can buy in the bakery department. So because of customer feedback, we wanted to minimize the packaging and anything that has um, a multiple use package has a resealable strip on the top so that you can close that up nice and reuse it again. In addition, I want to mention the colors of the packaging. Anything that has a blue package is an ingredient. Anything that's purple is a mix that is sweet. And things that are orange could be sweet or savory. So I wanted to mention that when we redeveloped the brownie to make it more versatile, we left the chips out of the, the brownie. But we still have chips in the bakery brownie and those of you who are fans of that, I'm sure are happy that you've just re seen that return to our shelves. We're super excited about that. So I'd like to mention the difference in the gluten-free flour in the old all-purpose baking mix. The gluten-free flour has no leavening or sugar in it. It's meant to be a cup for cup replacement for wheat flour. Where the all-purpose baking mix had sugar, or sorry, sugar and some leavening in it. So if you're looking for something that would be almost the same as that, 
I suggest that you use the pancake and waffle mix. And lastly, I'd like to talk about recipes on Wegmans.com. Many of the gluten-free mixes that we have have other recipes available for you. We've only put one recipe on the back of the package, but there's many things that are out there for you to find on Wegmans.com. And many people have been asking for pie, bread, and pizza recipes. Those will be coming soon from the Cup for Cup flour, so stay tuned for that. So back to you, Trish. Awesome. Thank you, Patty. And in a few minutes, I'll be sharing how you can actually find some of those recipes that we have on Wegmans.com as well as Wegmans app. But what I'd like to do next is actually turn it over to Ann so she could talk a little bit about the diverse mix of gluten-free products that we offer in our stores. Ann? Thanks, Trish. And thank you, Patty. Um, good evening. I'm Ann Johnston. I am so excited to be here with you and that you could join us tonight. Um, I am the category merchant for the gluten-free products that we have at Wegmans, uh, found either in the Nature's Marketplace Department or the Natural Wellness Department. Um, before I get into the actual products and the product assortment, I want to add one detail to Patty's excellent overview of the gluten-free baking mixes. One other element that's very important as we develop Wegmans brand products is reducing our carbon footprint. We found it's very important for our customers as well, as they have asked about our packaging, as Patty has said about the sustainability of the packaging and the reclosable seals, et cetera. We had several offers, proposals from vendors located on the West Coast to be our partner for these bake mixes. But we were able to choose a small company located right here in New York State and we were able to help them and nurture them and mentor them along to become our partner for this great new launch that we had. And that not only reduces the carbon footprint of the freight across the country, but also works towards engaging our local workforce here as far as farmers, manufacturing, and even the drivers that will drive the product to our distribution centers. So there are a few things I'm more passionate about than having been given the ability to be responsible for adding to enhancing the product assortment and size of Wegmans gluten-free offerings. Um, it's been a, as Trish said, it has been a journey for a lot of us. They did start off not tasting so good, but um, certainly in those dedicated gluten-free spaces, you can find products for both frozen and shelf-stable items. We try very hard to make sure that they are the best tasting, most nutritionally dense as possible for the item that it is, um, and certainly always available at our everyday low price, making it very affordable and easy for customers to shop. The items in that specific space, they were curated and chosen as they were specifically manufactured to be and certified gluten-free, and of course, hopefully the best tasting option that you can get. There's also products across your entire day's needs. You can go from breakfast to lunch, to dinner, to dessert, to snacks in between for the whole family. So there's products for young children and there are some very decadent products for, you might only want to bring the $7 box of really good gluten-free cookies home for yourself. You might not want to give it to everybody. Of course, certainly within a Wegman store, there are gluten-free items throughout the store in, in the main section. So in the rice department, or you can find gluten-free products in produce and in any unseasoned meat or seafood or milk item. Those certainly would be gluten-free as well. Um, what we've tried to show a little snippet of here in front of me is how easy it is to create an entire gluten-free meal with Wegmans brand products. We have a nice 
Italian meal here. We have some new cheese tortellinis that are located in our dairy department. We have pastas of high protein, bean base, or organic base here. Our different sauces that are available. A salad and a meatball, you've got a perfect Italian dinner. You can have a very easy Asian dinner with our sauces, rice noodles, and stir fry veggies. And then just very great family friendly items that are not able to tell, honestly, if they are gluten free or not. Many of them I would be hard pressed to challenge someone to tell the difference. So, and we hear that a lot, and we hope that you feel that way as well. And I think we can now show them more about how to find those items. Awesome. Thank you, Anne. Yes, yeah, so what I'd like to do next is kind of walk you through how you can find these. Because as Anne mentioned, we have solutions across the entire store. But one of the questions we often get is, how do I find them? So a great place to start is to go to Wegmans.com. Now I'm going to show you some slides that have some uh, screenshots. One of the first things that I would recommend that you do before you do your search, log in and make sure that you're selecting the location that you shop at so that the search results are truly tailored to the store where you're going to be shopping or if you're doing Instacart or curbside that you really know what your options are. So if you start by just typing simply gluten-free into the search box, as indicated here by the black arrow, you're going to go ahead and click on the uh, magnifying glass and it will take you to a page that looks like this. This particular screen is for our, or excuse me, our Fairfax store. So the numbers might look a little bit different in case you're following along at home. But first what I want to draw your attention to is in the lower left hand corner where the arrow popped up. I know the screen might be a little bit tiny, but in this area, you're going to find a list of all of the different brands that we carry that offer gluten-free foods. And at the time that we took this, there's over 200 brands of gluten-free options in our stores. Now, if you go up to the orange box where it says living gluten-free and click on the Shop Now oval, it will take you to a special page here that will give you number one at the top, quick easy links to some of the great recipes including some of the ones that Patty created using the new baking mixes as well as savory entrees and sides. Also below we have a curated list of new, popular and seasonally relevant gluten-free options. So much like Ann described, we have a dedicated space in the store. Now we have a little dedicated area on the website that you can look at some of these great options. Now, to search for recipes, next slide please. Oh, excuse me, before we jump to recipes again, to really hone in just on the Wegmans brand products that have that gluten-free wellness key. As indicated here, if you're on the, the main page or the home page of Wegmans.com, you'll find icons like we have here with the gluten-free. Clicking on that turns on a filter that will only bring up Wegmans brand products that have been assigned our initial gluten-free wellness key. So that's an easy way you can take a look at those over 2,000 items that I mentioned. Now, another way that you can find recipes on any page of Wegmans.com, along the top toolbar, simply click on Recipes, then look for the link to Shop or Search All Recipes. Once there, you'll actually have our full recipe database, but then you will find the gluten-free icon again. Simply click there, and it will narrow the filter search only to those recipes that have been assigned our gluten-free wellness key. Now as you look across that tool, across from the second arrow, there's some other options too. So let's say that in addition to living gluten-free, you also want to look for options that are vegan or lactose-free. Simply look for those icons, click that, and you can filter the recipe search even further. Now, all of these functions are available on the Wegmans app. It might be a little bit different to find it, 
but there is one feature on the Wegmans app that is unique, and it's our new from Wegmans brand link. Look on the main page of the app, just like the arrow indicates, and click on that section, and what you will see is new products from Wegmans brand. Now I do want to alert you, it's not going to be just gluten-free products, it's any new product from Wegmans brand, but we absolutely will be telling you when there's new gluten-free products right here. So that's a great way to stay in touch with what's new from our Wegmans brand product selection. The last thing I want to mention is what I mentioned before. If you go to Wegmans.com slash gluten-free, it's going to take you to our special diets page. Here we have information on different diets, including for diabetes or lactose-free, but there's a section dedicated to gluten-free. This is where you'll find the definitions for our two wellness keys. You'll also find a description for the made with no gluten containing ingredient claim that Patty mentioned. So you can find information there. The link to tonight's recording will be posted here along with frequently asked questions. Plus, you actually can look for a PDF of our Living Gluten-Free with Wegmans brochure. If you're in our stores, go to those dedicated areas that Ann mentioned, either in the Nature's Marketplace or Health and Wellness. You can pick up a copy of the brochure there or you can view it right here on Wegmans.com. Now with that, I know we shared a lot of information, um, but I know we had some questions that were submitted at the beginning of registration. So let's take a look at some of the questions that we received. So first question, how do I know which gluten-free flours to select for my baking? And how can I make cakes or breads rise better in gluten-free baking? Patty, I know you're gonna be able to answer this one. <laughs> So if you're looking for flours for, for gluten-free that are higher in um, grains, then you should be looking for brown rice or teff or sorghum. But you might want to use those in combination with something that might make it a little bit lighter like tapioca or cornstarch or cassava. In addition, you could use um, almond flour for baking. I, um, so let me give you an easy description of what baking powder and baking soda do. So baking powder is going to make products rise straight up where baking soda will make things sort of spread out a little bit. In, co in a combination, you might use those in a cake or just a baking powder where it's kind of like dynamite. You want that product to rise up. Um, also, I want to mention that you can use your oven at home like just like a proof box that a baker would use for breads. By putting a pan in the bottom of your oven, boiling some water on the stove with your tea kettle, pouring that boiling water in, and putting your bread in the oven and just closing the door without any heat on, that will help your bread rise faster and then when you're ready to bake, you pull the bread out, it's almost to the top of the pan, you turn your oven on. If you wanna create some steam in the oven when you put the bread back in, you could spray some water in there or another little trick is to soak a brick in water and you put it in the bottom of the oven and it lets steam out while your bread is baking in the oven. I never knew that. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no. And actually, before we get to the next question, really quick, Patty, that reminds me. I used our new um, flour for the first time about a week ago to make a banana bread. And I noticed when I was mixing it, it was a little bit thicker than some of the other gluten-free flours that I've tried before. And you told me there was a reason why, and I forgot. We did that purposely to um, create more of a a regular wheat flour experience. Um, there's sweet rice in there, which is a sticky rice, and it helps create more of the experience you might have with a gluten, a gluten-filled product. Okay, that made sense. And the end result was awesome. My husband couldn't believe it was gluten-free, and that's what I'm always shooting for. <laughs> All right, so next question. What new products do you have coming out? 
can. I can take this one. <laughs> Allow me. Um, we always have so many new items churning and new ideas that are happening, but some that are actually just hitting stores recently. You may have seen them, you may not have. We have our new gluten-free pretzel sticks. Those have been out. They come in a twist as well. We have a grain-free granola that is obviously also paleo-friendly in addition to being gluten-free because it is grain-free. On the table behind me, we also have our ancient grain rice crackers. So those are also available in a family pack for value for our families. Um, just coming this week, we have a new mac and cheese crunch puff. Very decadent, very delicious. Um, new, four new kettle chips that are all obviously certified gluten-free. They have the gluten-free key on them. Um, the dill pickle being one of our friends here favorite because she almost didn't close the bag. So they're really, really good. In the hopper also, we have some new lentil pastas. We have a lasagna sheet, a yellow lentil lasagna sheet, and a four bean sedani, which are new items coming in. Um, and we have some new elements within the frozen category. We have um, a difference to our gluten-free waffles. We're working on some new variants of the pizzas. And we do have our organic veggie burger that is all eight allergen free coming just before Memorial Day in a new family pack eight count box. So there's a quick sneak preview. Awesome, thank you. All right, oh, so next question. Are all of your gluten-free products in one aisle? I know you touched on this a little bit, mm -hmm. but maybe explain. Just to be a little more specific. Because some of the stores, we are still set up a little bit differently. So depending on where you shop, the gluten-free sections would be located in either the Nature's Marketplace area or the new natural wellness space. And there would be a one unit over in the frozen section that is all of your gluten-free frozen items. And then there would be over behind you on the shelf stable side of things, on the grocery side in that department, um, various different items available. There's Obviously, there's your snacks, there's your pasta and bread, there's cereal and bars and allergen-free in some stores and vegan sections in some stores. So all of that special diet items are located there in a very easy, easily located, easy to shop space within all of, each and every one of our stores. And Patty, what about bakery? So in bakery, we have our made with no gluten containing items together and we have our gluten-free items together. So you should be able to find everything in one or two locations within the bakery. Awesome. And you know, I actually live in uh, Rochester, New York, which is where our headquarters are. I tend to bounce between a couple different stores. So what I do is each time I'm changing, I will change the location of the store. And I use the Wegmans app and it's great because it will tell me what aisle, because it can vary from store to store where you'll find the items. So definitely consider taking a look at the Wegmans app if you can. If not, you can still create a shopping list on Wegmans.com and print it out and you'll still know uh, as long as you make sure that you're selecting the correct store before you do that. Okay, next question that Wendy sent us, why are some Wegmans products that don't have gluten in the ingredient statement not labeled as gluten free? Great question. Um, it's one we get a lot and there's a couple different reasons. If you recall, I mentioned that if a supplier won't stand behind our gluten-free claim, we won't assign our wellness key. So that's one common reason. Another reason is sometimes the supplier will say we have to put a may contain wheat warning on the label. If that is what we're asked to do, we also won't assign the wellness key because we know that's confusing. So those are two common reasons. Another reason is if it's a single ingredient item, sometimes the label is too small, maybe the keys wouldn't all fit, um, but the product has been verified to be gluten-free. That is something that our customer care team can help look up for you if you have a specific product that you are curious about, and I can explain that again in a second. Um, and then the last reason why is 
the majority of the time, the wellness keys will be on the front of the label. Again, as I mentioned, for some of those single ingredients, if the label's too small, sometimes if the design of the label is too busy, we'll find that the keys are actually on the back or side panel. But basically, if you ever have a question about a product and you think it should have the key and you're not sure, again, you can either call 1-800-Wegmans and ask to speak with the customer care department or email through the contact us link and they can try to answer why one of those scenarios might be at play here. Okay, next question. How can I avoid heavy carbs and gluten-free recipes? Good question. So um, I had mentioned a few minutes ago that when you're searching for recipes on Wegmans.com or Wegmans app, you can add additional keys or filters. We actually have identified some recipes that are paleo-friendly or keto-friendly. Now, we don't have a specific key or icon, but when you're searching or filtering for recipes, you can look for those uh, key filter searches and assign them, and that will uh, bring up the options that are a little bit lower in carbs. But I will say it's kind of hard to tell exactly what the threshold is that you're looking for to stay below. So I will say this, all of our recipes, we do provide the nutrition facts information. So you can start by just looking at the gluten-free recipes, find one that um, is of interest to you, and then look at the nutrition facts information and see if that might meet what your needs are. Okay, next question, Wendy. Oh, great, I forgot. Here's a little quick to reminder or tutorial of how to do some of those search functions. And the lower arrow on the left-hand side is identifying for you that designation that I mentioned of keto-friendly. Thank you for inserting that slide. Okay, next question. Okay, so gluten-free products are normally more expensive. Yes, I know. <laughs> How can I keep costs down while still eating what I like? Um, and I'm going to start with you. Okay. Certainly one of the main parameters of my job is to make sure that Wegmans procures any of the items that we want to sell for our customers at the best price we can so that we can relay that to you at the best retail possible. The other certainly easily is our everyday, everyday low price, our consistent low price message and mantra that we live by every day to ensure that we are providing for our customers the value not only in the gluten-free space but in the entire store to be consistent and overarching in that way. And then um, lastly, I would say from my perspective would be the family pack items. So the new veggie burger that's coming, um, you know, you've seen the family pack option out there in so many of our items because so many of our customers have asked for that. And we do supply really good food to a lot of great families like yours. So we try our absolute hardest to make sure that um, the value for the customer is always there. And as, again, somebody who lives gluten-free, I, I truly appreciate that. And a couple other tips that I would add is, you know, like Ann mentioned before, first and foremost, keep in mind those foods that are naturally gluten-free. So unseasoned fruits and veggies, plain milk, meat, seafood, really start with those as kind of the basis of your diet. Um, and then also what I really rely on a lot are the Wegmans brand products that are labeled with that gluten-free key. Now we have some that Ann has on the display in front of her, some that were formulated specifically to be gluten-free, right? Like some of the, the um, meatballs and the, the pizza crust. But really what's really helped me, because I've got uh, two adult children and my husband, so to make it affordable for all of us, is I rely on those everyday things like the pasta sauce. So I get the gluten-free pasta or the tortellini, but the everyday sauce that all of us can eat. Those are really affordable ways that you can eat gluten-free, um, enjoy great tasting foods, and, and stay on budget. So, Okay, next question. Why can't Wegmans have takeout meals that are safe from cross-contamination? Another very, very common question that we receive. So to start, what I like to remind folks is, in order to say that something's gluten-free, 
we've got to make sure that that final product has less than 20 parts per million from inadvertent cross contact from gluten. And when you think about where the food is prepared, that risk isn't just the immediate space in front of you. It can be from airborne flour or crumbs, even from adjacent areas. Our stores have all different layouts. And because we know that risk is there, and we know that we can't guarantee that we would be below that threshold, that's why at this time we don't say that anything that is produced packaged or serviced in our stores would be gluten-free. However, what we do provide is our made with no gluten containing ingredients claim. So any product that has that claim, we verified, as Patty mentioned, that the ingredients do not have wheat, rye, or barley. Now I didn't mention oats in this case. There are some made with no gluten containing ingredient products that have oats. But when they do, the oats that were used going in were certified gluten-free oats. But because again, it's that shared environment where we can't guarantee that it would be below that less than 20 parts per million, we're only gonna say it's made with no gluten containing ingredients. But we do that in departments across our prepared service areas so that you can make an informed decision of what's gonna best meet your needs. Okay, so next question. How can I eat gluten-free but still be healthy? Many packaged items have unhealthy ingredients. Do you have any ideas for quick, healthy, gluten-free meals? So, yes. So again, I completely understand um, there are some products that have um, less health-promoting ingredients. As Anne explained, she and our other category merchants are really trying to source those products that taste great and ideally are also delivering on some health um, promoting ingredients. So we do have that. But when you think about those quick family meals, Anne gave a couple examples, you know. Um, as a dietitian, what we always like to encourage people to think about is something we call half plate healthy. Meaning you, you know, envision your plate, Fill half of it with fruits and veggies, which again, starting with unseasoned, they're naturally gluten-free. And the other half, um, pretty much anything you want, but with items like this, you could have pasta with a bread and a sauce. So it could be a quick, healthy, easy meal. Thinking about this time of year, again, those veggie burgers that Ann mentioned, they're one of the few veggie burgers on the market that are actually gluten-free. And the added bonus, they all actually provide whole grains. So they're a gluten-free product that has good nutrition in it too. So and there's four great flavors and four, four great, great varieties. <laughs> Absolutely, really good variety. they're great in an air fryer too if you can't grill. <laughs> so there's lots of great options. And again, think about taking a look at some of the recipes. There's a lot of ways that you can have a quick, easy meal um, on the table. Those new tortellinis, they're fantastic. So give those a try. All right, I would like to know how I can find out what products are made without grains. I'm gonna to toss this to you, Anne. Without grains is a little bit trickier. They would um, have our gluten-free key. Uh, I think I held up the grain-free granola. We also do have now a paleo-friendly wellness key. It's getting on packaging pack, as packaging is being evolved and changed. It's not necessarily on every grain-free item just yet, but it will be something that you'll be able to look for and search for very soon. Additionally, within the gluten-free space, the, the, the sections that I have in the dedicated gluten-free space, carved out in each of those spaces in snacks, for example, all the grain-free snacks will be located together, and the grain-free cereals will be located together. To so again, just make that a little bit faster, a little bit easier for you to locate what you're looking for. Great. And as I mentioned before, too, I know this question was specifically about products, but we also do have recipes that have been identified as paleo-friendly and keto-friendly, and those, most of those are going to be grain-free, so you can take a look at those as well. You guys are asking a lot of great yeah. questions. Yeah. All right, so how can I find products that are gluten-free as well as vegan or lactose-free 
or also maybe free of a top eight allergen. So I had mentioned to you that it was in 2001 that we launched our Wegmans Wellness Keys. So we do have a variety of keys. Actually, we have one for vegan, we have one for paleo friendly that Ann just mentioned, and we do have one for lactose free. So products that meet those will have both keys on the label. Again, you can filter your product searches by these keys, both on Wegmans.com and Wegmans app. Now, in the case of looking for products that are gluten-free but also are free of one of the top eight food allergens, we do have a wellness key. We call it our Allergen Awareness Wellness Key. We don't currently have a filter for it. So unlike the vegan, uh, lactose-free and gluten-free, you can't filter for this key, but when you're in the stores, that key will appear on the back or side panel near the ingredient statement. And next to the key, it will specify which of the top eight allergens are present or if it has a may contain statement, you'll find it there. When you're looking on Wegmans.com or Wegmans app, when you're pulling up an individual product, we have a section where we'll have, um, I believe the label says warnings, and that's where we will identify if allergens are present. And I uh, will note, if you haven't heard, sesame has been added as a top food allergen, but the compliance date for products to actually have that stated on the label does not take in effect until January of 2023. So we'll slowly start to see that coming into the marketplace. So if that is a concern, know that that will be in the future. All right. I need gluten-free products that have no garlics, excuse me, garlics, no garlic or onions. Um, any suggestions for entrees? Okay, so um, definitely I am familiar that there are individuals who need to avoid garlic or onions for a variety of reasons. A common reason that we're running into right now are individuals that have IBS or irritable bowel syndrome and they're following an elimination challenge diet called the low FODMAP diet. Um, FODMAP is an acronym F-O-D-M-A-P um, and basically this acronym is representing short chain carbohydrates that can trigger symptoms um, in people that have IBS. We know that uh, a lot of people are finding when they try this diet that they're able to manage their symptoms and onions and garlic happen to be two foods that are high in these FODMAPs that can trigger symptoms. So Anne actually has brought in a few um, product lines. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk a little bit about them and what stores? Sure. Okay. Um, the, the largest selection of products that we have are the Fody brand, F-O-D-Y. It is not in all stores yet, just due to spatial constraints. But again, as Trish had indicated earlier, if you put the correct store in, those items that are available at that store where you shop will certainly come up. And what's great about the Fody items it, it, is that it is all of those elements that are so very difficult to not have garlic and onions in. It's barbecue sauce, it's ketchup, there's Arabiata pasta sauce that's great. Um, so there's a whole breadth of products that really can make the gluten-free and then um, taking out these other elements very simple and very easy. Salad dressings is another big one that, that folks have really taken on. The other smaller brand would be um, FODMAP for you. They have some unique items. They have some soup starters and, um, again, some spices and things. But um, that is an even smaller subset of stores because their portfolio isn't as, as bountiful as the FODI is, and they offer really great options for people. And, and where um, for the stores that do mm. carry it, where are these items yes. merchandised? Good, good point. Those items would be found in the gluten-free pasta and bread section. Um, they would all be together in that space because they're gluten-free, but then importantly, they're all together so you can go in as a customer with that need and know you found them all right there. Great. 
So as I mentioned before, make sure that you're selecting the store that you shop at. And then if you were to type in uh, FODMAP, if you're not seeing search results, then your store would likely be one of the ones that might not have those items. Um, just one quick point of clarification. Now, Ann mentioned that they are in that dedicated space with some of our gluten-free products. Those items are gluten-free, but if you happen to be one of the uh, individuals that's following that low FODMAP diet, know that not everything that's gluten-free is gonna be low FODMAP. But all of the products that we carry that are low FODMAP are gluten-free. So just a quick point of uh, distinction there. Okay, another question. I'm in need of healthy lunch options for school-age kids. And do we have any products? Yes, <laughs> the answer there is yes. What, what we do have are many of the um, basics for a lunch, right? You can find a great gluten-free bread either in the bakery, fresh and not frozen, or over in the frozen area in the gluten-free space, or in that same pasta and bread section on the grocery shelves would be some breads and some pitas and some wraps, right? So you have that base that the, that the meal could go in. And then we also would have certainly the pastas to go with a, a lunch. If you had a lunch at home, there's a Wegmans brand macaroni and cheese that you could, that you could have for lunches. Um, and then certainly any of the snack items that would be able to pop in with a piece of fruit, um, applesauce cups that we have available, fruit cups butter. that we have available. Yep, any of the peanut butter in the individual packets now, the, in, the nut butters come in individual little sachets now. So really some very quick, affordable, um, easy options for kids or adults. Having a couple of new cookies coming in bakery, so stay tuned for those. Oh. Peek under <laughs> the tent. Sneak peek, yes. Okay, how safe are regular oats? Patty, you want to take this one? Sure. Um, so many of the the millers who mill oats or things like that are cross using their equipment for non gluten items. So you really, if you if you want to have oats, you should stick with the gluten-free oats. The regular oats are processed in the same equipment that that wheat is processed, so you, you want to stay away from that. Yeah, and I would second that. In fact, a couple years ago, they actually uh, tested a bunch of different regular oats. And remember, for that gluten-free claim, you have to have less than 20 parts per million from cross-contact. Well, some of the test samples of regular oats were testing as high as 1,800 parts per million of gluten. So that's why if you are somebody who is living gluten-free and you tolerate oats, you definitely want to make sure that you are looking for ones that have a gluten-free claim on that package. So. All right. What should I look for on ingredient lists when items aren't clearly marked as gluten-free? Great question. So as a reminder, number one, a gluten-free claim is optional. So um, FDA defined the criteria, but a company doesn't have to add the claim if they don't want to. So that doesn't necessarily mean that you can't have something that doesn't have a gluten-free claim, but you do have to do diligent label reading. And I will say that there is a patient advocacy group that we have worked with um, over the years called Beyond Celiac, and they have a website. It's beyondceliac.org. If you go to their website, they have a great handout that kind of walks you through what you want to look for in terms of what's on the label. You might even want to reach out to the company to, to see, you know, are they ones that offer a gluten-free claim or not? So it really is a useful website to go to, not only for this question in particular, um, but they have a lot of information. I know like a minute ago, we had the question about school lunch ideas. They have information on their website about if you've got a young school-aged child with some tips for feeding them gluten-free. 
They also have tips about what if you have a child that's going off to college? How can you make sure that they're finding safe foods? So definitely, it's a great resource. Um, another thing too is even uh, tips on if you're eating out at a restaurant. So definitely take a look at that. Um, great resource to use because I know some of the questions that we have are, are outside of our scope, but great partner that we've worked with. Um, and actually, a quick side question before I forget, you know, we've talked a lot about food and absolutely we want to start with food first, but as a dietitian, I do know sometimes folks that are living gluten free, they might need to have a dietary supplement. We do offer a lot of products that are gluten free. In fact, Wegmans just launched a new line of uh, dietary supplements, vitamins, and they most if not all are labeled gluten free and many of them also have some of those other uh, dietary restrictions that somebody had asked about like vegan and lactose free. So you'll definitely want to take a look at that. Okay. Wendy, do we have any other questions? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Yep. I just got the, that it's five minutes to eight. I can't believe it. This went really, really fast. Um, so well, much to tell. So much to tell. Well, first of all, I want to thank all of you. This um, was so exciting. It's, it's a, a new venture for us, as I mentioned before. So it, we're so excited that so many of you wanted to tune in this evening. As a reminder, you're going to be getting an email in a few days that's going to include a link to the recording of this event. It's also going to give you a link about something we didn't have a minute to talk about. It's called our Wegmans Insiders. It's one way that we allow customers like you to give us feedback. In fact, on some of the product development that Patty was talking about, we actually had surveyed customers in the past and based on their insider's feedback is what drove some of that product development. So you'll get a link in case you're interested and want to join our insiders, you'll have that. Um, and thirdly, you're going to have a link to do a very short survey. As I mentioned at the beginning, this is our very first live virtual event, and we'd love to do more, but we want your feedback. We want to know what you liked, um, how we could do better, and maybe what topics you'd be interested in hearing about in the future. So please take a few minutes when you get that and give us your thoughts because uh, we're here to help you. I just want to say, on behalf of Patty, Anne, myself, Wendy, really and everybody here at Wegmans. Thank you again uh, for joining us here tonight and thank you for letting us be a partner in helping you to live gluten free and deliver on our mission of helping you to live a healthier, better life through food. Thank you so much everyone and good night.